Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Good, uh, good morning or afternoon, Neil. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Giandra. With this cast and crew of Voyagers, they're tasked with this mission of kind of leading the charge to the next frontier when they start to question why or where or how, as most people do when they have a mission. How would you describe or what was the energy that you wanted to create for this crew of people that ultimately the story is built upon? What is the underlying energy of these, this group of people? Well, to me, the movie's about human nature in a vacuum. You know, who are we at our core? We need to strip away all cultural influences and cultural baggage. Are we, you know, are we good? Are we just animals? What, you know, how should we be behaving? How will we behave if we don't have any, you know, cultural reference? And so I love this spacecraft as a kind of setting for that, where it's almost like a laboratory, you know, where you're just, and we have them under a microscope. And so I think it's interesting to see how they act and how they act out and how when they're given a certain amount of freedom, do they run with it and go crazy or do they still do their duty or whatever it is. And I think it's, you know, it's really great in this movie to see these young actors and, and, and really fun to watch them go, go wild. Speaking of running with it, there's a lot of running in this film, people running up and down hallways and around corridors. When you're shooting at those type of narrow confined spaces, how does that change for you as a director? Is that a more challenging aspect of filming as opposed to filming the greater ship? Or what did you like most or least about that type of? Yeah, well, I loved all that shooting. I loved, I mean, I designed those corridors to be, you know, 200 feet long and three feet wide and, um, because I wanted it to be claustrophobic and confined. I almost wanted the crew to be shoulder to shoulder with, you know, the film crew to be shoulder to shoulder with the actors to have it be jammed up even when they were running. And, um, you know, there are these great scenes of, you know, hurtling down that hallway. And, um, you know, we had a camera built into the ceiling and we could, you know, we could run it at 30 miles an hour. So we could just run with the crew. Um, or we could be, the hallway could be empty and it could just have this sort of sense of suspense as we slowly push down it or, or it could be, give us a sense of like moving through time. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, it was, it was one of the, the main things and the things I love most about the movie. And lastly, as we think about the next frontiers of hu as humans, what do you hope would be there if we had to pick up and move to the next frontier? What are things that you hope are there? Well, you would hope there would be some kind of nature there. You'd hope there'd be water and, and some sort of lushness, which is, you know, a pretty tall order because what we have on this earth is, is pretty precious and, and we have to protect it. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you have some very talented young actors with Ty and Lily Rose, and they really kind of capture the emotion and the pressure of being in these trapped circumstances. Did you have a mantra or a thing that you all said to each other as you began to film every day? Or what was uh, that's how a very did you come together question. collectively? That's a great question. We kind of did actually, and I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was more about, you know, it was I was just trying to get them, you know, I had a I had a cast of 30. 20 year olds. And so to kind of, but they who were supposed to be very still and kind of, you know, there's, they're sort of, they're deadened at the beginning, you know, there's, they're like so tame and docile and to bring all of those 30 young people down and make them still was a, you know, quite a, quite a feat. And, um, and we, and we did it, but it, it was a constant, I can't remember what the mantra was, but it was a, it was a process to get it to be there. So no TikTok dancing in between set. No, no, no. We wanted to let none of that. We wanted to take all that energy away initially before they let loose. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I very much enjoyed it. Great. Thank you. Take care. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.